What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And in this video, I am going to be showing you my solution to chapter 9, section 3, exercise 1 in the 9th edition calculus textbook by Larson and Edwards. Chapter 9 is all about infinite series, section 3 is about the integral test and P series, and in exercise 1, we are given an infinite series and asked to determine if the integral test is usable, and if so, to use it to determine whether or not the infinite series converges or diverges. So you'll see up in the top left corner here, we have an infinite series that is of a similar form that's given in the problem. We have 1 over x plus 3 bounded by 1 and infinity. And so to reiterate, we are asked if we can use the integral test, and if so, use it to determine convergence or divergence. So in order for the integral test to apply, our a of x right here of 1 over x plus 3 must be positive, continuous, and decreasing for x is greater than or equal to 1. And this right here is because that is the bounds that are on our infinite series. So you'll see this says x equals 1 to infinity. And so the first question we need to ask ourselves here is, is this function positive? Now, if we look at this function here, the numerator is a one, which is always going to be positive, And the denominator of x plus three, if we're plugging in x is greater than or equal to one, we're always plugging in a positive number, meaning that this denominator is also always going to be positive. There's not a single value for x greater than or equal to one that could make this denominator negative. And so the answer to our first question is yes, our function is positive for x greater than or equal to 1. Now the second question we need to ask ourselves is, is this function continuous? And you can do a similar thing to what we did for the first question. You can think about this equation that we have here and think about if there are any x values greater than or equal to 1 that would potentially lead to some sort of discontinuity like a whole asymptote jump or oscillation. Now in this particular case, the only x value that would be troublesome would be x is equal to negative three because that would give us one over zero, which is undefined. But since we are looking at only x greater than or equal to one, negative three does not fall in that interval and thus it is not a problem. So if we think about any x value greater than or equal to one to plug in this denominator, we'll find that there are no discontinuities. So the answer to our second question is again, yes. And I have rational function right here because that is exactly what we have. A rational function is defined as a polynomial in the numerator, a polynomial in the denominator, where the denominator cannot equal zero across the interval. And if we meet those three criteria, then we have a rational function. And if we have a rational function, then it must be continuous. And now our last question, is our function decreasing? And in order to determine if a function is increasing or decreasing, we can take the first derivative. So here we have the first derivative of 1 over x plus 3, and that'll give us negative 1 over x plus 3 squared. And what we can do here is a similar analysis to what we did in this first question here. If we look at the numerator, that's a negative 1. So that's always going to be negative. And then if we take a look at the denominator, any value for x greater than or equal to 1 is always going to make this denominator positive. So we have a negative over a positive, which means that this is always going to be negative across the interval. And if the first derivative is always negative, that means that our function is always decreasing. So the answer to our last question for decreasing is yes. And so now since the answer to all three of those questions is yes, we can indeed use the integral test. And so now we're going to go ahead and use it to determine whether this infinite series up in the top left corner converges or diverges. Now the integral test states that an infinite series and an integral of the same function bounded by the same interval either both converge or diverge. So what we need to do is compute this integral here. And so if we do that, the integral of 1 over x plus 3 is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus 3, and that's going to be evaluated from 1 to infinity. Now, infinity technically isn't a value, so we can't just go ahead and plug that in for our evaluation. We need to take the limit as x goes to infinity of this quantity, and then we can subtract that from the evaluation at 1, which is going to be the natural log of the absolute value of 1 plus 3. And we can go ahead and simplify that a little bit and combine this 1 plus 3 to give us ln of the absolute value of 4. And if we were to take this limit as x goes to infinity of this quantity here, that's just going to give us infinity, and infinity minus any finite value is still going to be infinity. 
which means that our integral diverges, and if that integral diverges according to the integral test, our infinite series must also diverge. And so that's about it for this problem. Feel free to check out all my other solutions to this textbook in the top left corner. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.